Hi, James Pax. It's the year of the tiger, the roaring tiger, so I'm wearing my Rayon Tiger shirt for the show today. Kung Fu Legends by James Pax is about the 80s and 90s action movies and TV series, plus interviews with action stars across the globe. But today, I'm going to be talking about my movies and TV series back in the 80s and 90s. The name of you, Big Trouble in Little China with Kurt Russell is definitely one of my favorite. And I did an episode of Tour of Duty with Miguel Nunes Jr. Medlock, MacGyver, Silk Stockings, and Martial Law with Summer Home. So I went to the library and I found most of the uh, DVDs and we edited it together nicely. So now, let me show you my showreel. I'm a doctor. I take care of you. Please excuse me. I have never seen a black man before. Not this close. <laughs> I've read about your people. Let me show you. Do you know this man? He ain't personal friends, but I've seen that book. He's a very interesting man. Lately, I've been trying to learn about your people. You are oppressed in your country. But I'm curious, why do you fight for the system that holds you down? So he drafted my sorry behind. Drafted? Sort of like legal slavery. Yes, exactly. And that is an irony of this war that I will never understand. How a lumpen proletariat, descendant of the slaves, can be induced to give up their lives to protect the capital of the ruling class. You some kind of communist or something? Yes, since 1952. Damn, I don't think I ever talked to a real communist before. Nor have I ever spoken to a black American. Really? We have much to learn from each other. He wants me again, huh? Look, I'm just a private. I don't know nothing to tell him. Be sick. Close your eyes. Be sick. I told him you're near death and cannot be questioned now. Thanks, Doc. What do you think, you gophers or something? Yes, that is us. The tunnels are one of the means by which we will win this war. 
The generals have not yet even begun to understand their importance. Tell me something. Why do you want to fight America anyway? For the same reason we fought the Japanese when they occupied during the Second World War and the French when they occupied later. Vietnam is our country, our land. Our business is our business. And you are a foreign power who have no business in our affairs. But enough of that. You were telling me about... I was telling you about the Black Dap. Put your hand up here. It's real simple. Only gets complicated when white folks try to do it. Hey, duh. <laughs> Hold it. I do tell you to kill me, right? He has no choice. Okay. He might didn't have a choice. But you got a choice right now. Don't move. Let me live. Please. You can let me go right now, Doc. You ain't got to do this. You'll never know I can just take right off. Come, they come, Tyson. No, I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back. today. He was easy switching those rocks. I wonder if this rock of his is real. Who knows? Maybe I really am the wish child. Yeah, maybe you are that. Just got to keep it going a little while longer. Sit tight. How did you handle that MacGyver guy? He shipped out to New Zealand. Hmm, nice touch. No body, no cops, no noise. Diplomatic. Lock, stock, and bony rock. Kid was great. Mr. Lee made contact. He's interested. I'll meet him, set up a deal. We'll have the money and be rid of a kid. How? He won't be coming back. Got something special for you, kid. Whoa! I told you, good things are coming. Rich things. Yeah. Wait till Lisa sees the karate studio I'm gonna buy her. She'll stop thinking I'm some kind of loser. Hey, everybody's gonna respect you, Paul. Everybody. You are the wish child. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think, maybe what if I was? Both know you're special, Paul. That's why it's gonna be great from now on. Right? <laughs> he does that. He's done it to me dozens of times. Just doses off in mid-sentence. And his noise. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here, try some. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that you can help me and my client out here, Dr. Lou. Wish I could. I like Irwin. But I'm afraid I was in here working when Vincent was killed. I'm no help at all. Mm. It's good. Made them myself. The ultimate junk food. No salt, no fat, no sugar, no calories, and no food value. What's in them? Not much. Mm. Tastes good. If the Food and Drug Administration weren't so hysterical about possible health risks, I would have had them on the market years ago. Here. Have some more. I guess I can't offer you a cup mm. of coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Chow, I didn't even hear you come up. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I know, it's my fault. I'm a million miles away. Um, Helen Lee tells me you're investigating the death of Steve Burkow. Yeah, we are. I knew him. Actually, I just recently met him. What were you doing with Steve? It's a secret. I can only tell those who I trust. Well, who's more trustworthy than a cop? Steve Brooke, I was a cop. You know, it's not a, a good day for playing games, so I think that maybe we should talk about this inside the PD. Yes, we could. Or we can do this over dinner. Either way, I'll tell you what I know. Are you hitting on me? Yes. Cass?
You're early. Yeah, it's a habit. Thank you for coming. Um, bad experience in a department store? Oh. <laughs> I'm proud to be a fourth degree black belt. As you'll see, requires diligent training. Mm-hmm. Excuse me for a moment. Sure.